Hey there, amplifiers. Thank you for tuning in. And one of the things that I really like is connecting with other amplifiers. We're talking about putting things in the right order. We're talking about getting things clear and organized because if you have everything jumbled up, you could be finding yourself bouncing around, getting lost in the day-to-day -day whirlwind. And our guest today is really a financial wizard when it comes to putting things together. He helps empower businesses with expert bookkeeping and payroll solutions. I'd like to welcome to Growth Amplifiers, Delante Boyce. Delante, thank you for being here today. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate, uh, appreciate the invite, Kenny. I've never actually done a podcast kind of setting before, so this is new and interesting. So hello, Amplifiers. Hello, everyone. Well, glad to have you here. And one of the things about connecting with other amplifiers is everyone plays a different instrument. Everyone has a different knowledge and expertise and running a business can be challenging. You've, you've got to keep the finances in order. You've got to make sure that you're providing good service. You've got to market your business, find new customers, service those customers well, and you have to deal with the constant changes of technology, expectations, what's going on in the market. It's a lot. <laughs> And if you, if you don't have the right team to help you out, then you're going to find yourself can only go so far. So you help people in the financial side, helping them get order with their bookkeeping and payroll um, to help our audience better understand kind of who you are and why you show up. Could you give us a backstory of how you got to be doing what you're doing today? Okay. So my uh, journey in accounting, you know, starts with really humble roots you know i just started off uh managing my family's bookkeeping um because oh, cool. you know i have a family of entrepreneurs doing this since i'm like 16 17 um 29 now but um you know i've just witnessed that positive impact you know of having that accurate financial management on their lives you know it made everything easy for them and it just uh you know just sparkled a passion in me so over the past decade uh you know, as I ventured into running my own firm, I established Tay's Bookkeeping. And, um, you know, it just made my reason more crystal clear, you know. So I'm driven to empower business owners like my family to make them achieve their financial goals. That's, that's pretty much what it is. I like seeing, you know, the overall big picture and putting things together and, you know, very meticulous about it. So tell me a little bit more about the types of businesses that you typically help out. Well, I don't have a particular niche, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, mainly dealing with, um, you know, real estate investors, um, restaurants, photographers, there's many different, uh, businesses that I've helped out over, over the years, mm -hmm. but, uh, mainly right now construction and, uh, real estate investors for the most part. Interesting. And when you're helping these different people out, because I, I have the same sort of background, I can help a lot of different types of businesses because I use a, a framework and a process. But um, I typically work with other business advisors and those B2B service providers. When you're, from your perspective, when you're engaging with customers, what are some of the biggest challenges that they're having that they either they're aware about or that they, they don't even know that they have and that you've got to help help them have a better understanding of what what's causing some of the bigger problems that are surface level. Uh, I mean, the various issues range. Um, I mean, like some people, you know, they, they try to do bookkeeping themselves and uh, that's all out of whack and I got to go back three years. People are missing out on a lot of tax uh, opportunities. They may structure their business wrong. You know, they may have an opportunity to have, okay, a holding company and have different LLCs under that versus, you know, putting all your assets in this business. So it's just many different things. Cause I do, you know, business registration and things like that as well. So I understand, you know, how to structure a business and um, those are issues but mainly people um, trying to do it themselves, maybe hiring someone who's not a professional and putting themselves in a worse 
predicament than they could have been if they just, you know, hired a professional and went a better route pretty much. Yeah. Cause I know that's a big deal, especially with the entities and what you're able to do with different entities. And if you don't have that awareness, you might start your business as one entity, things change. And then if you still are operating under that initial entity, because it's like, well, I'm still that same business. Well, it may be, it may have been the good one to start with, or maybe it wasn't, (laughs) but now it could be working against you. And if you didn't have someone like yourself, who can help point out this is how this is, is working against you. You wouldn't know. Uh, right. Can you give exactly. an example of a t- like someone who set up maybe uh, under the wrong entity and how that could come back and bite them or could be hindering their efforts? Well, certain things like um, a company may be an S corp too early or something. Cause you know, with the S corp, you have to pay yourself a reasonable salary and it's not really worth it if you're making, I'd say, under 80 or 100,000 gross. So it's like just things like that. You know, you just try to set up an S Corp because you may have heard on YouTube or something that it was a good thing to do, but you're only making 30,000. So it's like it's not really benefiting you like it should, mm-hmm. really. Or you may be an LLC and you're making 120, 200,000 a year. And now you're getting hit with all those taxes versus filing as an S corp. And now you're paying a reasonable salary and only paying taxes on what you're, what you're paying out. So it's just things like that, um, that, you know, that I've seen businesses do when it comes to the tax side. What what about, um, businesses that they, they may have someone who's handling their, their bookkeeping or accounting and maybe they're they had like an an admin to come in and they're like oh, you you help answer the phones and you could you could do our bookkeeping i'm sure you've come across people that have had someone who's been helpful and maybe they know enough just to kind of like check the boxes what are some of the the problems you see when people are maybe having someone who, who doesn't have that that next level understanding of accounting well um if you're just dealing with a that's, you know, that's a data entry position. You know, mm-hmm. an accountant isn't just, you know, that's the basic part of it, you know, uh, entering in and categorizing, doing those things. But if you don't have someone that knows how to read the financial statement, that knows, you know, how to see the cash flow projections and actually turn the Chinese into English, you know, mm-hmm. turn the, you know, the hieroglyphs and translate it for you because that's how it looks to somebody you know any uh business owner all they know is the profit and loss and they know that gross number they don't know about cash flow or balance sheet or they don't care about all that stuff so it's your job as an accountant to actually look into that but you know if you're just hiring someone who answers phones and you say hey can you categorize this for me i mean you know a 10 year old could really just categorize some things for you you know, it's not hard to, you know, copy and paste the description and put it in Google and, okay, this is a, this is retail. Maybe this is for office and you just put it in an office. I mean, that's easy, but it's things outside of that that actually matters. What are you doing with that information? And an accountant can actually help with that because, you know, I like to uh, put myself in a client because, you know, our, our slogan here is your goal, our expertise, or our expertise and uh, your success. So we like to know your actual goals and try to implement how can we make that happen with these numbers and things like that. So, Hey there, this is Kenny from Growth Amplifiers, here to ensure you get your awesome ideas into action to grow and improve your business and achieve your full potential. Take the first step by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the Start Here button. Take the assessment to get your personalized score. Then select from free resources to learn how to improve your score. Don't wait. Be proactive and take action now by visiting growthamplifiers.com and clicking the Start Here button. And always keep on amplifying. Now, let's get back to the show. I I really appreciate that. And that's that's one of the things that not everyone does that. Not every bookkeeper or accountant goes above and beyond to understand what are you really trying to accomplish and let me help you craft a path to get there. 
because right. they're, exactly. they're just checking the box and just doing the bare minimum <laughs> to get the to get the needed required task done but then how do you understand that data how do you utilize that data and leverage it because if you leverage it it should help influence and change your actions and if exactly. you don't if you don't change your actions and don't expect to change your result but yes exactly. I, 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 I think they amplifier. give uh, <laughs> yeah i think they give bookkeepers a bad rep with that kind of uh behavior really just it's nothing's changing they're just they're just you know putting what you're doing in the system versus okay let's make this better because i'll see okay you got zale you got paypal you got this why don't we just streamline it and do this <laughs> you know kind of bring things to them in that kind of way you know got to make things better really finding a way and having someone to look over your shoulder, help you see that blind spot always about um, having that fresh perspective to find a way to do things a little bit better. Even small little incremental changes can have a big income, big uh, change on the pr trajectory of where you're going. So That's keep true. that in mind if you're tuned in and question for you, my friend, um, you can see I've got books in my background. I've got, positive intelligence right now I'm on the top bookshelf. So yep. I'm a big fan of that book. Um, what's a book that you've read or are reading that you found helpful that might be interesting for others who are looking to improve their knowledge uh, and business? Well, you know, you got the classic seven habits of highly ineffective people. I love that book. Um, because it's not only, like it says, it's, it's really going into your character overall. It's not just, you know, just kind of like a gimmick, you know, it's, it's more so just changing your character to change your whole outlook on life. Um, so I would always suggest that book, definitely, if you um, haven't, you know. What is a, a tool that you've found helpful to, we've got all these different apps, these different, different software, different tools. What's a tool that you've been impressed with and, and have found helpful? Uh, any form of AI, AI is the future. Uh, AI would get you scripts. AI would, uh, create, you know, social media content for you. Um, AI would do a lot of things. I mean, you can have AI have a whole avatar, speaking and saying your script for you i mean it's so many different avenues you can go with it so i would suggest any form of ai find the right one and utilize it to your advantage because you know social media all these things are important but um it can take time and you don't want to always have to hire someone so you know it's a you can outsource some of that stuff through ai so i will always suggest that for businesses it's 2023 going to be 2024 sooner than later, you know, so you got to get with the future, man. And then, um, last but not least, uh, what, for those who are interested in learning more about you and or your business, where can they go and what should they do? Well, you can uh, go to my website. That's taysbookkeeping.com. That's T A Y S bookkeeping, two K's.com. And uh, you can just hit free consultation. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, fill out your name, fill out your number, email, and uh, we can chat there and see, you know, what things you need with your business done. So we can, you know, uh, tailor make a solution for you. Also, um, you can reach me directly uh, at 586-800-3272. Or, um, you know, you have LinkedIn, Delante Boyce, also Instagram at Tay's bookkeeping service. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's where, that's where, that's where you guys can reach me. But one thing I like to say is, uh, you know, more than bookkeeper, um, you know, we provide all our clients with financial empowerment with a hands-on type of approach. And I'll, I'll just put it to you like this. Imagine, um, your business is like a high performance race car, right? Like a Ferrari, mm -hmm. uh, 488 or something like that and uh your goal is to win the championship you know we're basically that uh pit stop crew for your finances you know so we go put the tires and stuff in place and make sure you can win that championship so like i said your goal our expertise your success so you know so we can help you get that championship man awesome well um as a closing thought tradition we have on this 
podcast is if you could share something you've learned on your journey that may be helpful for others on theirs. It could be related to your industry or it could be anything in life that could help someone. Something that you'd care to share. Uh, yeah. Um, I think uh, streamlining your business is uh, everything. Um, it's like you said earlier, certain things you got to worry about when it comes to the business. Uh, the main things I always say is marketing, closing, and systems. So, I mean, without any of those, you have no business. If you're not getting out there to market, you have no one to close. If you can't close those who you market, you have no business. If there isn't a system in place, your business will explode, implode, however you want to word it. Because it's like if um, – where I just, I'm going to just say this, like I always tell people, uh, when you look at the top, you know, 10 reasons why businesses fail, you know, about three, four of them relate to not having an accountant. And one of those things are also uh, growing too fast. That happens when you don't streamline things and make your business scalable. You know, get a CRM, get virtual assistants, get, you know, make put programs and things in place to make stuff automated. It'll turn mm-hmm. something that'll take five minutes to five seconds, make it a click of a button. You know, you got many avenues to do that. You got people out here that creates programs, invest that money to streamline your business. Definitely. Well, Delonte, thank you so much for joining in, for sharing your knowledge and expertise and contributing to Growth Amplifiers. We appreciate you. If you're tuning in now, make sure that you don't just listen, take an idea one thought and put it into action. New results require new actions. So be inspired, take bold action, keep on amplifying. Thank you very much. All right. I appreciate the invite, man. To show your support, take a moment to amplify this message by sharing it online. To connect with me or gain more business growth insights, visit www.growthamplifiers.com. Thank you for your support.